the world sits in the balance. Everything has a beginning. Everything has an end. That is just the way it is. I can hear that from over here. Lara. Lara! What? Must you insist on having that so loud? You'll be deaf by the time you're 30, dear. You could have at least let me save it. The world doesn't start and end with snowboarding, Laura. You're 17. Well, maybe people should start treating me like that. I mean, how many 17-year-olds do you know have their mother take them on an extreme skiing holiday? You know your father. Either I came along or no trip. Be fortunate for that. It's just the way that it is. Ah, oh, so I should be grateful. And <laughs> well, there really was no point in going at all. We're there three days and he's already reeling us back because of another pathetic discovery. I know it's difficult for you to understand, but with time, you may thank your father for his dedication. Dedication? I just can't understand why I have to be part of all this. And why can't he get us a decent plane? I mean, look at this thing. It feels as though it's about to drop out of the sky. Would you rather walk? I would, actually. It's the Himalayas, Lara. It wouldn't last five minutes. But be my guest. I'll ask them to land over there. Those mountains shouldn't be that close. Don't worry, Lara. They found the wreckage a week before they found you. If I had stayed there, I'd be dead too. There wasn't much time to get out. Your mother, was she already? Yes. They found you in a little village just over the Tibetan border. You were holding this. do us much good in the end. You spent two weeks in one of the most inhospitable places on the planet, Lara. Somebody saved you. Well, it wasn't him. We wouldn't have even been on that plane if it wasn't for you. Angel, don't say that, please. Stop calling me that. This family's done nothing but answer to you. All that mattered was the next hole you squeezed through. Mother came second, I came third. That was always the way. I never wanted this life. inside my heart and become an individual when you just want me to be a clone of you. This is not you talking, Lara. It is now. You may blame me all you like, but it was not me who wanted to take that trip, Lara. Perhaps you might like to think about that.
Lord Croft. I'm Dr. Crowley. We need to have a chat. How bad is this? Well, she has no memory of how she got here. Physically, she's fine, surprisingly. At the moment, we're more concerned about the psychological effects. She's developed a fear of disorientation. It seems, no matter how long she spends in one place, after a certain amount of time, she starts to panic. A feeling of becoming lost. But she knows where she is. She's delusional, paranoid. We can't leave her on her own for any more than a few minutes. Well, is this treatable? At this moment, she needs people around her. Right now, she needs you. She doesn't want me. I can say that she will make a full recovery, physically, I'm certain. She's a strong girl. With regards to her mental health, I'm really not the person you should be speaking with right now. I can put you in touch with a colleague of mine. A psychologist? Who's... Lord Croft, you have to come to terms with the fact that these effects could be permanent. Lord Croft. Lady Croft. Hello, Winston. Oh, it's so good to see you, my dear. <laughs> and you. Mm, I hope you won't be driving that to the funeral. It was on sale. I just can't resist a bargain. American imports. Do you sleep yet? No. I've got a present for you. What is it? <laughs> oh, what's that? What is it? A very talented young artist painted that for you in Switzerland. Have you finished that yet? No. Will they ever find their way out, Daddy? Maybe. But I think it might ruin the end if I told you. Can I just skip to the end, then? No, dear. Be patient. Why? Lara. The world sits in a balance. Everything has a beginning and everything has an end. That's just the way it is. You'll learn that one day. When you're exploring, don't you worry if you get lost? All the time. It doesn't stop me. If I get lost, I just look to the stars. What if you're in a cave or it's cloudy? Then I follow water. Water always leads somewhere. Usually to sanctuary. Now, where have you got to in that one?
Lady Croft, there are three dining rooms in this house. Why must you insist on eating in the kitchen? Winston, you really don't have to call me Lady Croft anymore. I feel like I'm 15. I'm my mother. That's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Here is some post for you. For me? Your Uncle Errol has made arrangements for the funeral. So, are we burying him or cremating him? Lady Croft. I'm serious, Winston. I mean, don't you need a body to have a funeral? Your father has been missing for nearly three years. Your uncle is quite right. It is time for some closure. I think that after the funeral... I'm not going. I beg your pardon? My father isn't dead, Winston. And if this funeral is about closure, then I'd rather not be a part of it. I need to find my own closure. And how exactly do you propose to do that? I'm thinking about it. What did you do wrong? Put your hands up! What did you do wrong? I let you get too close. Before that. Two guns, Lara. You're in a hostile environment with multiple targets and you have access to one or more weapon, then you use them. Two guns are always better than one. You know, trust me. If we weren't firing blanks, you'd be dead. Yeah. Respond. 
mind today, Crofts, huh? Knocked out of filling. <laughs> That'll get you back for initiation with the cataract. Grab those guns. It's four years, the first time you've done any damage. Lady Croft, it's your uncle Errol. He's. he's. he's here, yes, I can see that, Winston. I did try to persuade him to come back at a more appropriate time, but. He is a very persistent fellow. Perhaps this would be a good time for you to show Jack to his room and set up the network for PC. Certainly, Lady Croft. Mr. Jackson, please follow me. <sighs> nice tie. I thought the funeral wasn't until Sunday. Still playing soldiers, I see. No hug? You know, there was a time when Uncle Errol came to visit, little Lara Croft would come running up and wrap her arms and legs around him. If Lara Croft does that to you these days, the chances are you've done something to make her angry. Also, I've heard. Still. I'm sure your father would be very proud. It's comforting to see you're surrounding yourself with company. How is your uh, condition? I read the letter from the solicitors. Oh, don't take it personally, dear. It's just what the Croft family wants. And what is that, precisely? You are the youngest Croft, and the last to continue the seed. But not the name. I have things I need to attend to. If your father had gotten what he wanted, maybe we would not be stood here having this discussion. And what was that? The same as all Crofts. To continue the name that's been in this house for hundreds of years. Something your father knew that his little girl would not be able to continue. After you, they did try for a boy, but, well, your father was always rather quick to give up. He never gave up on me. Richard Croft was not the man to find you in those mountains, Lara. It was me. How? My team followed a trail from the crash site. You'd managed to seek refuge in a cave. You weren't conscious, far from it. You were taken to a tiny village, and from there, your father was informed of your whereabouts. You really don't remember. Dear girl, your father would not risk his life four years ago searching for you. However, he was prepared to die for whatever he was looking for in Cambodia. How I found you is irrelevant here, really. Maybe you should consider what is more important to a man than his daughter's life. Perhaps we will continue this discussion after the funeral. Good day, Laura.
Sorry. Really, Lady Croft? Now, the Mayans were an ancient... Is something the matter, my dear? You called me Lara. I did not. You did, I heard you. Just now? No. No, before, when you shouted at me. I didn't shout at you. Well, you raised your voice. Well, if I did call you Lara, I do apologize for it. Now, may I continue? By all means. The Mayans were an ancient civilization existing in what is now Mexico from around 200 AD for roughly 700 years. As well as being famous for their immense understanding and development of writing, architecture, mathematics, the Mayans were devout stargazers. The sky, December the 21st, 2012. This black mass here represents the sun, and this dotted line represents the galactic equator. You see, the Milky Way runs in a north-south direction when seen in the night sky, the planets and the sun moving in an east-westly direction, the sacred tree, the point where the sun effectively crosses the galactic equator. It's also when the Mayan calendar, the long count, ends. Well, from what I've read, is not good. Ah. So you haven't had your eyes aligned down the barrel of a gun for the past four years after all. <laughs> Indulge me. Well, I know the theories. An alignment like this could generate a cataclysmic change, causing various breakdowns to our very own environment. The sky turns black, day turns to night, poles shift, possibly. An interesting theory. And one of many, actually. Yeah, I googled it. Uh. See, for many years, the location of the 2012 winter solstice has been moving towards the heart of our galaxy. Look out of your window and you can see the changes happening already. Yes, but that's climate change. Decades of man pumping toxic fumes into our atmosphere and no one doing anything about it. Says she, driving the proverbial gas guzzler outside. When change occurs, people can only feel comfortable with that change by understanding it. Scientifically, we can explain global warming and relate it to the effects on our planet. <laughs> but people could never understand this. So our goals missed the mark a bit then? Oh, on the contrary. An inconvenient truth was financed by the American government in an attempt at misdirection, once again helping people to feel comfortable by understanding the effects on our planet. So you're saying the American government actually know all about this 2012 thing and to avoid panic and making people believe that Climate change is actually all down to us. Not just the American government. Every government in the world. You didn't Google that, did you? Winston, are you throwing something on the grounds that I need to know about? Ah, uh, your father and I spent many a long night discussing this over a fine wine. Oh, that'll be it. My father, his stories and alcohol, that'll work. You see, everything sits in a balance for every right there is a wrong. Yes, yes. Karma, yin and yang, black and white. Good and evil. And the same can be said for the universe. The stars, the planets, the gases in the air. The very reason we don't burn to a cinder from the sun's rays every day is because of balance. This crossing of the galactic equator disrupts that balance and potentially destroys the world as we know it. And you believe this theory? Your father did very much. Every man has his holy grail. Your father made some very influential discoveries with his digs, but this, this is what drove him, perhaps to his death. So what was he looking for? Oh, Winston, since when did you enter the digital age? Tomb Raider. The Ascension Stone. It says here that Father believed this to be the key to understanding the truth behind 2012. But the path the stars are set, something this big can't be prevented by anyone or anything. But until that something or someone comes along, we can prepare. There is time. For what? To save the world? Absolutely. Your father believed that unlocking the Ascension Stone's power, at the very least, 
would help man understand how to ascend and become citizens of the universe. This was his life's work, my dear. Why didn't he tell me how important this all was? Because telling a 17-year-old girl that she might not see her 30th birthday is not that easy, my dear. Especially when you love her so dearly. Whatever animosity there was between you and your father, you must know that, despite your indifference, he loved you very much. Do you think he can ever forgive me? Your father forgave you a long time ago. It is not he who needs to forgive. Uncle Errol, what does he know? Just as much. Although very close, your father and his brother were rivals in their field. On a number of occasions, Errol claimed your father had capitalized on his discoveries. It did grow quite bitter at times. This photo, it's maybe 70 years old, so someone must have discovered it before. Yes. If I remember correctly, it was a miner who discovered it and brought it back from Mexico. Arthur Hemming, that's the fellow. On his return to England, he opened an iron mine here. Unfortunately, the cave collapsed during an explosion and everyone was buried alive, along with the ascension stone, presumably. Well, why have it down there with him anyway? He hid it. It seems something happened on the way back from Mexico through Bermuda. It made him incredibly scared of its power and he vowed to bury it as deeply as humanly possible. Seems he got his wish, poor chap. He claimed that only he understood the Ascension Stone, that it spoke to him directly and showed him the path to sanctuary before the end days. However, your father was soon to learn that Hemming was a madman and suffered from severe mental disorder. Perhaps having a psychological disorder helped him tap into its frequency. Winston, are you sure this artifact is supposed to save the world? It looks a tad destructive to me. Any power in the wrong hands can cause catastrophe, my dear. So has anyone tried looking for it? A handful. But that cave system runs for thousands of feet into the ground. You could search for years and still come up with nothing. My father try? No, strangely enough. However, Errol was obsessed with the place. But even he still managed to come up with nothing. I need to get reading. And I'll make a cup of tea. expensive present from your father. What is it? I don't know. Lines and dots. Those are my own numbers from the first group. Three, five, six, uh, seven. A grid reference. A map. Winston? Is this thing on? Give it in, it's okay. Ah, nice to see you both up. Yeah, yeah, well, there aren't many women who can get me up this early on a Sunday morning, Lara, and keep me up. Oh, Jax, I thought of being part of such a short list makes me feel a lot warm inside. Have you got me? Based on the grid reference from your mind numbers, yeah. I've just uploaded directions to your sat now. All going well. It should be there within the next half hour. Now, I've got to tell you, this place ain't easy to find. So it's going to get a little rugged. Whatever you do, follow the directions, okay? How rugged? After 100 yards, turn left. Keep left.
Then go right up the roundabout, third exit. I don't fancy getting wet today, Jax. If you can't see the entrance, it shouldn't be too far away. No. Okay. It should be all right from here. Okay, any further? Your info, and I'll try and upload to your PDA. But your signal's not going to be good down there. Oh, you're pretty much going to be on your own. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. I have to do this, Winston. That's just the way it is.
hope she isn't wearing those shorts down there. They're so impractical. She's a big girl now, Winston. She can look after herself. Hey, man, is there any chance of a cup of... <coughs> tea? that her? No, I lost the signal about a half hour ago, and that is a different frequency. Well, who is it then? Hostiles. To take. I don't know. I thought you might be able to tell me. Might you? Look who I found! Uh, Lara! I see you've come to terms with not getting the house. When are you moving in? Just a few modifications I've put in for now. Put her over there. Mm, nice touch. He doesn't usually forget this. Which is why I wonder why he left it behind. There isn't a dig in the world for them gone without that bag. I see. Oh, relax. She's harmless. Who are you? I'm your uncle. You're no relative of my father. You're a monster. Well, we are following in his footsteps, aren't we? Artifacts, monsters. Ooh! It's amusing how things turn around. I always thought you'd turn out a little more like me. I'm nothing like you. You think so? Before time got the better of us, when he was in his prime, he was the best. The original Tomb Raider. You, well, you're nothing short of a cave raider. At least you got your answer, Lara. This is what was more important to Richard Croft than his daughter's life. So this is why you rescued me. Richard was never going to share this discovery. I knew you were far too valuable to be left to die in the Himalayas, as it was obvious that one day he would tell you where it was, and you'd be irresponsible enough to lead me to it. How he got word out to you from where he is, 
It's beyond me. What? He's alive. As we where discussed. Is he? Errol, tell me where he is. Errol! Errol, don't leave me down here! Where is he? Errol! Don't leave me down here! Where is he? Move! Okay, stop there. Put them on. Cuff yourself to the railings. You don't have to do this. Stay there. Put those cuffs on. Isn't there another way? Embarrassed. It was my first time too. was knackered.
you. Where are we? I don't know. But time's running out. You must get out of here. I can't leave you. Yes, you can. You are the key now. You're the only one who can help them prepare to survive. Time is against this, dear, in more ways than you can possibly imagine. I believe in you. I've always believed in you. Now I'm asking you, I'm begging you, Lara. Face your fear. Face your fear and become everything you can be. Don't you ever worry about getting lost? All the time, but it doesn't stop me. When I get lost, I just look to the stars. And what if it's cloudy? Then I follow water. Water always leads somewhere. Usually to sanctuary. Girl has to do to get her hair right. <laughs> Oi! Alfred! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on a second. So four years until the end of the world. But if your uncle's got the ascension stone, I mean, surely doesn't that mean that he can access his power at any time? Without this, it's useless. But it's only a matter of time before he realises. What a tosser. I thought my uncle was bad for forgetting my tenth birthday. What are you doing, Lady Croft? Are you all right? I'm multitasking. That's what those girls are good at. Hey, uh, Lara, do you think you could... Just tilt your PDA down a bit. We can't see you so good. Nice try, Jax. I'm sorry we couldn't warn you sooner of your uncle's presence. It's all right. <sighs> Dealt with it. Oh, you didn't kill anyone, did you, dear? No. No one that didn't deserve it, anyway. Well, look, we might have an idea where he's going. You see, I took a closer look at your map. If you hold it up to the light, there's a name imprinted on it. Von Croy. Where is this Von Croy? He's in the middle of an archaeological dig in Mexico. Lara, you are right. Lara, why do you insist on wearing those shorts? You're going to freeze when we land. Well, that's when we land. Besides, they are my best assets. I think you both know that they aren't. Oh, Mother! Lara! He's your father. Be polite. I don't want to see him before this holiday. What is it, Father? I just wanted to say goodbye. I'm not allowed to do that. 
This is the first time since you were born that this house will be entirely empty. Apart from Winston. And well, it makes a change to be the one venturing across the globe instead. Ah, speaking of that. Now, I know you're not a huge fan of flying, dear. And St. Christopher, patron saint of travellers. So you have a safe journey. Thank you. I know I haven't been around lately and uh, things haven't been as pleasant as in previous years. I apologise for that, Laura. And I know you think I don't care. But I just want you to know that through time, however hard things get, whatever anybody says to you, I want you to know that you will always be my angel. I love you, Lara Croft. I love you too, Daddy. Goodbye, Lara. I don't think you're going to be able to take the Hummer, though. It's all right, Jax. I think it's time I traded to him for something a little more eco-friendly anyway. Perhaps I should arrange for your prescription to be sent to you, Lady Croft. That won't be necessary, Winston. Lara. Do you think there's enough time to save the world? Absolutely. to come back in. 